Hello everybody, Josh here from Technofee and bringing you today the one month review of the iPhone SE 2020. Now I've had this phone now for about a month. I bought it in uh, May this year and I've used it very extensively and now I'm gonna bring over the experience I had in one month I'm gonna talk it to you in this video and before I get started, please remember sub to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified when we make an upload and smash that like button and let's get started now in the box here you get is a red piece of paper that whenever you open it is the part of red, about a red iPhone followed by the quick start guide in three different languages English, Chinese and Tamil if I'm not wrong I think it's and also graciously Apple decided to include a SIM card too this time around plus as always every time you buy an Apple device the Apple stickers you've got to have them now moving on to the rest of the box we have our earpiece this is the t lightning earpiece not the headphone the ones with the headphone jack as so then we have the as you know lightning cable has proprietary in every single box now moving on after that we have a tiny tiny 5 watt charger that apple decided to in put inside it not a fast charger the phone does support fast charging but it, apple decided to put in a tiny little 5 watt charger in it which is i don't know why they want to do that but they end up doing it anyway now looking at the phone here it's red it's gorgeous it's thin so basically it's just the body of an iphone 8 but with the internals of the brand new iphone 11 pro not that brand new soon to be on iphone 11 pro so the specs are having it has an a13 bionic chip it has three gigabytes of ram it has a 720p display but everything else on the outside is just basically from the iPhone 8. The camera is the same as the iPhone 8. Even the screen the screen is basically from the iPhone, even though the screen connector is different. It's a 1800 mAh battery, so a slightly smaller battery, not really the battery king at this point. But even though you're using this phone, I don't think you'll be using this for good battery life also. Now, as for a person coming from the OnePlus 7 Pro, albeit the OnePlus 7 Pro as my main phone, I would say that this is slightly smaller with its 4.7 inch display. Though I've managed to get used to it pretty dang fast, and I kind of miss having a small phone in the end. Having that small phone with, where you can reach end to end of each display, and you can really reach it and not having to hold a, like a huge piece of metal glass in your pocket. Though I still like my OnePlus 7 Pro. It's still my main phone. I've been using that now for about a year. It's still my favorite phone out now. And it's just the best. But now back to the iPhone SE. I decided to buy a case with it. However, when I got the case, it was kind of a little bit bulky, a little bit chunky on the that end because it was really i thought okay when i bought a case imagine it was a very funny story when i bought the case it was advertised to be really thin however when i got it, it got really thick so the case i bought is spigen ultra hybrid 2 which was funny enough funny enough actually it says the iphone 4.7 inch display because basically it's all 4.7 inch and they put it there the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 because as you know the design was from the start from the iPhone 7 it just had a simple redesign for the iPhone 8 and now the iPhone SE is just having the same body now talking about my users I've used it quite good it was my second phone for the second half of the month but the first half of the month I've used it it has been my main phone and it has served me well ever since. One thing I will say that even though it's 1800 mAh battery, it's a very small one, if you use it in the right way, it can actually let you last for quite a decent time. And I would I have no complaints at all. It's great. I like the the build quality is always Apple build quality. It's the best. Now, one thing that surprises me is always the camera quality. You may hear other YouTubers talk about this, but yes, the camera quality is really good. Like, considering that it's only a single lens camera, and it can come up with quality that's so vast and yet so vibrant. 
that you've seen comparisons that it could go against an iPhone 11 or like not against that but somewhere in the ballpark of that now you can see the redesign the back I bought of course the red one it's the product red and you can see the Apple logo has been moved down to the center to match with other products that Apple currently has and on top of that topic the A13 Bionic chip whoa is that a complete game changer like Comparing this, this is, I bought this, it was a $649 sing dollar phone, I bought it $649, pre-ordered it. It's a lot, it was like half the price of when I bought my OnePlus 7 Pro last year. It, Snapdragon 855 against an A13, no sweat for the A13, it really is a great chip, it just makes everything super fast, super snappy. Open apps just like that. Best one snap and then one app is open. Boom, another app is open. Boom, another app is open. Instagram loads up instantly. It's just that processing power. It is just so great. And there's nothing else I can talk. Um, but commend this phone for, like, everything just looks perfectly fine. Even the button. Okay, it may not be an actual button, but the haptic touch sensing feature works. Like an absolute charm. The vibrations aren't too strong. You can arrange it within three different modes. And overall, the haptic touch was okay. At first, when I got the phone, the haptic touch where I touched the screen was a bit fiddly at some times when I um try and press on the screen to select something. However, somehow with some certain updates, the issue kind of got resolved eventually. And I can finally touch buttons and press it properly now. So with that problem out of the way, there's really nothing else wrong with it. And there's, it has been serving me well ever since, even though I've put it in a horrible job doing that screen protector, which was my fault entirely. I really can't put screen protectors properly, good and bad for me. <laughs> but overall, it's a thin design. It's just taking something that is good and is already well known and just upgrading it. If you have seen this before with the original SE, taking it from the iPhone 5S, but then just changing the internals to match the spec of an iPhone 7 and just selling it on, people bought it and a lot of people are now buying the new iPhone SE and it's just a dream come true. And the black screen in front, no more white, no more whiteness, just black and it just matches the red so good. Now I have everything but compliments about this, except for one thing. Now I know, I know this is an older phone and it's using the iPhone 8 style, but seriously Apple, when are you going to bring Type-C into at least one of your newer phones? At least have Type-C somewhere. Or at least give us back the headphone jack, there is no headphone jack, this thing I'm saying this, there is no headphone jack. They come, don't come with a dongle, I mean, most companies don't come with a dongle, but seriously, Apple, you are the one who removed it. Aren't you the one who's supposed to be giving a solution to it? Yes, you did give your AirPods, your truly wireless ones, which I did buy in the end, the AirPods Gen 2, I had no choice, but seriously, Apple, seriously, is that why you want to play it? But me, $649 for an Apple device, not much you can complain about. And overall, my verdict for this phone after using it for one month was astounding. And I'm going to continue to be using this phone, not for my main phone, but as my secondary. It's not too big, not too small. People who like the small phone factor is good. And especially when I'm carrying already such a big phone in my pocket, this little tiny phone just fits in my pocket as if it was not there or even exist in my pocket. And with that, that comes to the end of our iPhone SE 2021 month review. There's nothing else I could talk about other than I can't talk about everything. You've looked at other YouTube videos already. You've seen them talk about it. So that's probably it. So tomorrow we'll be back with tech news again. And But for now, 